<laughs> no Enrique. <laughs> no Enrique. Uh, that was not me singing. What is this soy debauchery? It got struck again. Uh, it's a weird thing. I don't know what's going on. One of them didn't get struck. It said it went to a diff. It got claimed by a different episode. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, we might be trying out some new uh, new intros. See what fits. Just try them out. There's lots of cheer songs out there on the internet. So uh, there's the first. It's fine. It's cool. Mo Biggs calls it soy. All right. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the show. I hope you are excited tonight because we have the one and only That Umbrella Guy joining us in about five minutes. It's going to be awesome. We're going to chat about his channel. We're going to chat about Littlest Umbrella. We're going to chat about whatever else catches our fancy. But uh, until then, let's just jump right into it. Uh, get over it. Uh, very, very active in the chat today. He grabbed, He snabbed the first. So he gets the prize. First in, best dress. Mo says, please try to find a version that wasn't sung by a Castrati. <laughs> the guy who sang it has a big channel. He might try and claim that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, KSS says, put on my nicest black T-shirt for this stream. This is. This is my design. This is, my, this is literally my nicest black T-shirt. Thank you for noticing. I'm looking at the... Um, at the uh the youtube chat today because last time i missed uh member chats which apparently don't turn up in Streamyard, but uh hopefully that will solve the problem all right we got 50 people in here including felix Hass, uh micra's here who else is here aardvark he says not first not today buddy you know how to do it now learned your lesson i hope jeremy burtz is here uh eric grant i gotta talk about eric grant in a sec once i bring joe in bretsky the great who else is here atheline is here atheline gelf is here he says hey bitches what up uh, lord crackhead is in the house who else who else do i spy lord crackhead might like what i'm going to talk about in a second when joe gets here we've got stippling vaughn we've got dear man we have who else do we have everyone's very active today thank you so much for hanging out with us on this frying frying it's friday so i said frying on this fine well, let's guess it's thursday for you guys but it's friday afternoon kids are going on holidays after this uh it's a good day it's a good day indeed roger Wright is in the house who else be here who else be here on this lovely night my goodness nolan lockhart just gonna have to keep saying scrolling down scrolling Fe felix ricks get over it and nolan hail there you go from uh, nicholas gear mel b working hard she was literally mowing the backyard uh 10 minutes ago she also made me a ham and cheese sandwich it was delicious and she's been fixing up cg now she might be one of the hardest working ladies in cg I mean, not necessarily all in uh, <laughs> she saw my comment i was just praising you mel i don't know what the problem is uh we got murph here who else is here insaniac draws i see snuggy i there's enrique mel the all-seeing one we got mo biggs Whew, getting close there that was four seconds away mo hail mo biggs nearly missed it that would have been a disaster all right, I'm going to send the link to Tug. I didn't want to send it early to him because I didn't want him, I didn't want to have him sitting in the back end uh, feeling sorry for himself. That would have been awkward for me, him being such a big YouTuber and successful Comics Gate creator. B Rose. Now, I can't highlight these, but I can, I can actually, no, I can highlight it. What am I saying? Of course I can highlight it. I'm going to scroll down. I'm sorry to everyone that I missed. Um, Mo says, I like Tug, but I hope this doesn't turn into another weeb stream. Why would it? Tug isn't a weeb, is he? Or is he? I don't know. Well, I guess we can ask him. Why isn't B... How far back is the StreamYard chat to the live chat? It seems like it's very far back. All right, I'm just going to read this. Back Cerebrum, Volume 1. Unlock more Rich Ayala Prince at 10K. Sully versus Brooch in a broody battle of the roaches. Indeed, there you go. B Rose on his way. 
up to 1.3 thousand subscribers over on his channel. He's making waves over there, and it's great to see. I hear a boop. That means either Joe or Tug is here, and it is. It is our guest of honor today. Let me let me remove this chat here, and we'll bring him in. Tug, welcome back to the show. Hey there, how's it going, man? I made it's going very well. I made a uh, little emoji for you in the chat. Um, I, sometimes, if I have time, I like to uh, I like to chuck them in there. So I just made a little tug face, uh, if that's <laughs> what it's called. I yeah. don't know if that's what it's a called. A tug face. That's sexy. Yeah, everyone who's a uh, super bogan and now has access to that. I see some hail tugs in there. Excellent. Great to see from all the VBs in the chat. Love it. How you been, man? Uh, busy, busy, um, busy month for you. I imagine. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's been a crazy one, a, a rewarding one, but a crazy one. Mm, it's been great to see you back. Uh, we've hung out on a couple of streams together. That's always fun. Yeah. Um, and this is your third Little Umbrella uh, book. That seems to be going very well. Yeah, we just crossed uh, eighty-five today, so we're doing pretty good with uh, four days on the and... thirty-day counter. And I think uh, 1,100 backers I had it. Yeah, 1,116 backers, man. That's that's excellent. And, and, and it's just the first 26 days, yeah? This is the first month. Mm -hmm. Got to love it. Yeah. yeah, we're steaming along, man. It's been, like I said, it's been, a, <laughs> it's been a, a lot of sleepless days. But again, it's rewarding. Uh, Jay says, I'm more of a rub and tug kind of guy. Well, you know, each to their own. Yeah. Each to their yeah. own. Here we give it. Um, <laughs> this is of course now what we're going to do around here we're going to have a little conversation because i thought i like to have a little conversation with the guest that's something related to them not many guests i have on here have built over many years a channel with over a hundred thousand people on so i wanted to sort of just chat with you about that about how that all came about right. um you know how you did it what it's like what it's like being a big famous youtuber um yeah. <laughs> people say that to me and i have three thousand and hey man, yeah. i remember the i remember the first, i remember it too yeah. that's when i you that's know. when i subbed to you back in the day you had maybe it wasn't three thousand maybe it was about five thousand that's when i first came across you but um it, yeah it's weird it happens, I mean, you man. never know uh it, it a lot of it's luck you know a lot of it's luck uh being the right timing mm -hmm. I, you don't some of it's understanding the algorithm i think the algorithm understanding has to has to work in there um understanding of thumbnails and how they work characters and titles i mean i've learned a lot of her i, I it took me a year and a half to learn mm. what the algorithm wanted you didn't start now i remember that when i first found you you were on um you were on uh mostly comic skate stuff i mean i mean that but it was the big crazy t well that's when i first found you i don't know if that's what you started with but that's yeah, when i that's, first found you well i had a, i had a channel for a while but i didn't i didn't do it and i just you know i would uh, just post some random shit on there every now and then but i didn't youtube i just you know i <laughs> i would keep things there that i didn't want to put in a Dropbox or you know like i said every now and then i'm i would post like a a review or something but i didn't really give a shit about it and then um i kind of got interested in it uh gail simone gail simone was talking shit one day and she said that she bet me a dollar that i couldn't make a coherent argument about something and i was like all right well you're gonna pay me that dollar and she never <laughs> did, did she end up paying you oh hell no she probably doesn't she blocked you, know, you that, i'm sure yeah, that's probably an entire royalty for one of her fucking books. So I understand. <laughs> that's what, what was that? What was her husband called? Rocket. Uh, Rocket I, I don't remember something. His name. I rem, I, they used I to make the, the cringiest stories. videos I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. See, that was a fun time. Like 2017, 2018, that it's kind crazy. of crazy. You know? Yeah, that was. Yeah, a your boy Zach was putting out four videos a day just because he, <laughs> that's what he did running around new york and talking about complaining about cat piss rocket spouse thank you mo yeah she she just pretend like oh rocket spouse no like uh, um, a, a transformer would fly into the screen <laughs> and she would just yell at someone off camera it was so cringy oh what i mean that's I, just 
<laughs> they were horrible. You know, the uh, that was also when comic pros hadn't figured out that they probably shouldn't talk shit to you because you were going to monetize it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they hadn't figured that out. They thought, hey, we're the big pros. We have all the clout. We have all the uh, respect around here. Uh, no, that has to be earned on uh, YouTube. It was it was it was an entertaining time, I have to say. We are joined as well by my co-host with the Mo. Oh, whoa, <laughs> it's old man Joe. <laughs> Mike tug hat. Yeah, I've been wrangling a pack of feral children, and it's taken years off my life. It looks like it. Yeah, you were being off sick a little while, and uh, yeah, it's really taken its toll on you. Yeah, but I'm glad bounced, you made it nonetheless. Ba bounced back. Uh, donned the old hat in honor of Tug. All right, sexy. <laughs> Every time you move, you hear the leather like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like an old chair that Grandpa sits in. Oh, you sound like um, you sound like them in the Matrix, you know, with their suits. <laughs> yeah, mm. that. yeah. Uh, Joe, I don't know if you uh, actually. I do know you caught this because you replied to it on Twitter. Um, Tug, my. Uh, my comic the lucent waking dream um i'm uh, i'm about to sell out of all of the uh first edition prints uh, so i'm i'm doing a little bit of promotion uh trying to sell the last of them and i'm also doing a bit of promotion uh for people to sign up for the follow-up painted death which i'm launching in uh, a couple of months mm -hmm. and uh so i sent a tweet out earlier um, you know, just hey, you know, oh, we, here we go. Uh, Eric Grant, who's in the chat, he retweeted. He said, The Lucent is the first story in a long time that had me up at night thinking, Wait a minute. Um, right. And I was like, Yes, that's exactly what it is. This is the kind of story that I've been trying to make here. I, I think it's called a mystery box or a puzzle box. It's the kind of story where you make it vague and, mm -hmm. and then the reader comes up with their own theories they put the pieces of the puzzle together um in their minds and there's lots of these little things in the story lots of little easter eggs and details and it wasn't until today eric grant hail eric grant has put another piece of the puzzle together that as far as i'm aware no one else has as far as i'm aware uh, Lord Crackhead has it right here. What is an olam? He made this little response video here. Um, oh, actually, damn it! I got to um, I got to share the uh, audio because there's a little bit of audio that goes with this. Uh, here it is. Hold on a sec. Let's go back. <laughs> now, for anyone who isn't aware of what the lucent is, actually, I'll turn that sound off. That might mean. Ah, nothing to them but let's just go back here quickly so this is the scene that starts thousands and thousands of years ago and this was a thing that people had asked and critiqued when they received the book they said hang on how is there any connection between that timeline and mm -hmm. the main timeline with ella in it well eric grant god bless his soul uh i am smart he says he is indeed <laughs> Uh, he has found a link. Uh, yes, it, it is pointed out that uh, the old lamb's eyes were as black as... If you don't know what obsidian is, it's um, it's volcanic stone. It's very black. Black and shiny. Uh, black and shiny. And then later on, we see in the... Uh, in the um, When Ella was young, something happened to her eye. You can see it's damaged there. And then we continue forward. And yes, she does indeed. That same eye is nearly very nearly black uh well done to eric grant this is the sort of eagle eye that is best suited for reading the lucent uh, so i just wanted to give him a heads up uh, there he is figuring it out in his den in his cave getting crazy fantastic work eric fantastic stuff um all right uh yeah we have the sharpest readers here in comics gate i hope you've had the similar experience there tug yeah we uh we have the first edition the puzzle too it had like a you know an inception feel my wife said about it 
Oh yeah, yeah. She she um she also uh, praised it uh, highly. So that was uh, yeah, that was right. very cool, very cool indeed. Yeah, it was a good book. Um, you know, we all liked it. I thought it was good. I'm waiting for the second one. I'll be glad to see it. You know, it was high quality, dude. You know, it's a commendable project. Cullen, they're not spoilers. They're in the first book. <laughs> the first book has been out. How long has it been out now? A year? I don't know how long it's been out. Yeah, uh, a while. At least a while. Admiral Wacker says your mug, your mic is a little quiet there, Tug. I'm not sure if you can. I think it's up the highest I can get it on my end, but That's I don't probably, know I'll turn my soundboard up. I may have it low. No, there you go. There you go. All right. So we will get to chatting about um, Hunt the Lilith's umbrella at, towards the uh, last half of the show. I'll put the link there. The link is in the description. I see people are posting links all the time in the chat. So thank you to all the mods who are doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, your channel, man, 150,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is, it's, been, uh, it's been an interesting ride. You know, about 12,000 of those came from comics. Um, mm -hmm. uh, about 40 something came from Vic Mignogna covering that. Randoms and then the Johnny Depp stuff. That's pretty much what picked up the rest. Tug, I subscribed to your channel in 2018, but I don't remember. When did you start it, actually? I've had my channel for a long time, but okay. I didn't start. Um, I, I didn't do. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I didn't do shit with it for the longest time. I really didn't start up until right around 2017 ish. I believe that's when, mm. um, you know, Comics Gate started uh, late 2017. That's when right. Comics Gate started getting. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I tuned into uh, Cummings and, you know, all of the like Richard Meyer, everybody there. Um, the one thing I thought that they didn't understand were numbers. Like, they, they explain numbers very, very poorly um, in a lot of ways. Yeah, they, that was your thing, wasn't it? That's why yeah, I that joined. Was your yeah. niche. That's yeah. why you I used subscribed to, look at to the, the uh, numbers. Yes. Yeah, doing those sales analysis, uh, yeah, taking a look reports. at financial statements. Yeah, I was all into that. Yeah, I liked it. You know, they all, they've they've uh, hidden a lot of that data these days. You know, mm -hmm. you have the breakup of diamonds, so you 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 can pick up order numbers, but you don't have uh, you don't have a lot of sales report. Now you still have breakdowns for IDW. I still will do those, but uh, you don't have as much readily available information. Yeah, it's uh, I've been doing these uh, truth about comics gate videos trying to get some of that data myself for argumentation. And you're right, current stuff it's very difficult to get to the truth of it. <laughs> um, they want to hide it from you, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> even with companies like IDW, you know, they they figured out ways to hide their numbers a little better. They cannibalized their own company, for example, they sold off a third of it. They've mm -hmm. uh, they picked up uh, the uh, PPP loans from the from the government. I mean, they've had different ways to to camouflage loss. They still lose money, but I mean, it doesn't look as bad when you're doing shit like that. It's crazy that some of these companies are still even afloat. Yeah, I don't. Uh, but, I don't uh, know how some of them. I. I mean, some people joke about them being a uh, you know a, a a tax haven, and maybe they are. Hey, hell, oh, hey there, uh, Jim Cox, back in number one thousand one hundred sixty-two mm -hmm. on the Hunt for Lewis umbrella. That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, hey there, return. That's very, I appreciate you. Uh, when did that start? How did the hey there start? Uh, it, I, it was just, um, you know, a, a, a nice, gr a nice greeting. You know, be like, hey there, how's it going? <laughs> you know, and uh, it just stuck. I noticed people. These would, are the, back yeah, these me. are the sorts of things you think about when you're starting a channel. You're like, do I have to do something like that? Am I going to be on camera? Do I have to have an avatar? Uh, all that sort of well, stuff. See, it seems like you started by making spider videos. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I would rep I would just post random shit, you know. It's random <laughs> stuff. Look uh, at that sprinkler video, you know. Okay, now here we go. Four years ago, you start getting into yeah. There's my Gelsimo owns me a dollar. That's really a, a repeat of the of the first video, yeah. you know. You yeah, so that's that's that idea. Yeah. This is and look at this: three hundred and twenty-seven views four years ago. Yep. for a tug video. Yep. This is it out there, everyone. Because a lot of people are like, you know. 
And you, say, you notice we, the reviews, they did better, but I didn't give a shit about the reviews. Like, if you look at the numbers, they did, they actually yeah, did good numbers. 1,000. Yeah. I mean, you know, I could have done that and made, but I, I was never interested in doing that. I would not run a YouTube channel doing that. You can make money off of it, but mm -hmm. there has to be more, you know, you have to enjoy what you do. Well, that we were, I want to get into that as well. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we talk a lot about these days, you know, how we, there's the big guys and they're the big guys. Uh, we're the little guys and people talk as if that's just how it's going to be forever. Uh, and you know, his proof positive, uh, you know, Tug started in the same place uh, a lot of us did. Now, it, it is hard now. Like I see a lot of these uh, videos have lots of views. That's like YouTube from back in the day. I had the same thing happen. You know, post random art sketch stuff and just get 10,000 views or something. It doesn't happen quite as much anymore. But um, uh, it's interesting that you say that you, you know, you've got to do something on your channel that you enjoy doing. Did you, when you pivoted to more, um, what was it, uh, Wee Wars and uh, Amber Heard stuff, was that something that you were inherently interested in, or at that point, yeah, were in you? My, in, in my life, I uh, I work with people in mental health, you know, so I um, I see a lot of people that, <laughs> well, I've seen uh, I've seen victims and I've seen uh, abusers and. Yeah, when people are accused of the most heinous shit in the world, you know, that it's part of, first of all, that's part of our cancel culture that we see. But on top of that, due process cases where people are denied that fundamental right, yeah, that's that's something a lot of people pay lip service to. But man, as, as, as men especially, that is a, a huge problem for us. Mm, yeah, the system, despite what the uh, feminists will tell you, is not actually set up that favorably <laughs> no. for the men in our society no. that is very true and so that's cool so you just sort of i mean you, you just sort of have that that innate passion to you know fight uh fight bullies and uh, a broken system and you figured out a way to make that work uh, to build a channel Oh, I out thumbnails too. Look how terrible those fucking thumbnails are. <laughs> no, I was just about to say it's pretty. Um, uh, what we, how would I say it in in Aussie language? I'd call it uh, bog standard. <laughs> uh, black with the yellow. Yeah, they're terrible uh, font. I guess it worked. At least, don't they say people say make your uh, thumbnails consistent though? So when people land on your channel, it'll you know at least you have a brand out there. Yeah, I, you know, one of the things I learned as, as you go along, you need, you need very few words, maybe four or less. You need to be able to see those things from the freaking orbit and your titles. Really, uh, you can only see 70 characters. So make, make I didn't your know case. that. Yeah. Four words. All right. Okay. Yeah. If you noted, uh, like, we'll, if you look, we'll my new ones are, are four words or less. Sometimes it may just be three, but unless it's a live stream, but. I'm learning. I'm learning. Well, most, almost all my videos are live streams. Um, but, uh, you know, I do get about double the views on the rewatch. So uh, that's how that's helpful. Nick Rose is back at number 137, 139, but he already knew. Uh, so they are uh, previous backers, obviously, because uh, Hunt for this Umbrella is way up at the moment. This is this is so cool to watch the um, the uh, evolution of your channel. Man, so many videos. How many do you do a, a week? Um, I did 41 last month. Um, that includes live streams. Wow. I mean, you know, you have your three a day or that do more, but I've been try. I alternate, I try to do two a day, but I've been trying to make better videos. You know, I don't, I don't want to just sit down and, and read an article or something. I want to point to my video, I want to do something better. Say something I, that someone else isn't isn't yeah. saying out there. I mean, there's a lot of people who read video and some people do it well you know and some uh i just i don't like that standard and if even if i do <laughs> i want it to i want to break it up i want to make it a better video so sometimes i can't do two a day like that you know i still keep a day job so you know it's it's day job come home live stream uh in in promotion it's usually live stream till midnight do two videos that take two to four hours sleep two hours and do it again so i didn't know you i was gonna ask that like do you have a job you have a yeah. day job 
-hmm. and the yeah. big YouTube channel. And I, I understand now why you're dead at the moment because you're campaigning as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's exhausting. We're on the back end of the campaign, you know, for the thirty. I hope days. I hope you get to work from home these days. Uh, if off you're and on. I, I get to work more from home. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, you know, with, it depends. I don't see as many clients. Like I said, I'm, I work in mental health. I worked as a therapist. It, since all this got docs, I don't care to talk about it anymore. But uh, I, uh, I worked as a therapist for the longest time and I still do sometimes, but I, I do other things more behind the scenes now. Admiral Wackass has just a quick question about the campaign. He says he deleted a, an email with a secret. Did you have a secret tier on your yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. for your mailing list? I did. Um, I um, just okay. The the difference in the secret tier. Uh, well, Ad, just uh, email me uh, granulheaven at gmail .com. Just email me there. Um, you can either email me and I'll resend that to you, so you'll have the links because they're still available. You just can't see them without the without the links, or you can, yeah. Uh, yeah. or you can email me yeah. you know they're the they're the regular tier but with but with the um addition of the 48 hour cover so just email me are you the are you youtube's number one amber heard expert at this point <laughs> <laughs> i've been included in um i saw that in three documents in the actual for, yeah three they something. name you in court <laughs> yeah. well hold on for a second i'll be back all right well while you're back come back uh nick rose four five since tug is here i have to do my daily reminder that tug's daughter makes more money off comics than ron mars that is all <laughs> thank true. you nick yeah. rose yeah yep yeah. very true it's, it's not hard with some of these sjw creators but still yeah. that is an achievement that yeah, ron martz man well ron martz the funny thing about it is I didn't realize this on his last campaign. He's uh, one of the, I can't remember his position, but he's an executive in the company that's also selling that book. So while he's out there denigrating people, running them down, he's doing that not only as a creator, but also as an executive for his company. So These so guys are all creeps and weirdos. It's, yep. it, it's so funny and the, even people who have no connection to comics gate who just run into them uh who was it that guy mark brooks mm. rob was telling oh, us Lord. how before this whole business with shane and mark brooks blew up uh you know he he was involved he got blocked or was involved in a tweet thread where someone just said i, I don't really like this cover that mark did and mark went on a tirade then blocked everyone in the thread <laughs> yeah that's how it's they not operate. surprising, though. You know, <laughs> if we're being honest, like these, I I'll block a person every now and then, but they have to do something pretty extreme, or either that or block. You know, I'll block them so they don't report my account if I run across them. But I I probably like thirty people, as many, you know, as many people that that follow and do crazy shit. I think that's a pretty good number. <laughs> We got uh, Danny in the chat, our resident hater. He said Amber did nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, people are people are calling out Danny. I'm sure there's a lot of f Danny's going on. Uh, do you get? Do you ever get like sick of these people? Do you have to make another video about these yeah. crazy I do. Uh, weirdos? I burn out of the cave. By the time a case ends, uh, like Vic Mignogna, that's that's why I don't. <laughs> there's stuff that'll happen. And I'm like, no, fuck it, why I'm not making those videos. <laughs> And I don't ever want to talk about them because the it's not the guy, it's the fucking degenerate weirdos that are on the other side of it. They're simp army. Yeah. Well, I like to I like to make fun of them. Um, if I can't monetize them, though, I I pretend they're not there. I mean, just let, being honest. Well, it's very impressive what you've done. Your work ethic. Uh, I didn't realize you still had a day job on top of all this. I every now and then I get the idea that I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to start putting out videos every day. Uh, and then the reality of the situation lands and I just, well, you know, that, that every day becomes maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Uh, so I really uh, respect this. One. I mean, this is just never ending time. <laughs> it's just, and that doesn't count. Many, like I've how, removed a fuck ton of videos. How too, many because... Amber Heard videos have you made? Do you, oh, Jesus, do you have I any idea? Know. Hundreds. I don't have no idea. Hundreds. 
hundreds and hundreds guys yep. out there you want to build a big channel uh you know a, a, a six figure kind of channel this is the sort of work that you're going to need to put in there you're going to make money uh, on your channel too you're going to make you're going to make decent money on your channel so we oh need yeah i know it's 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 totally worth it you're right i mean even my channel is three thousand subs i'm i yeah i make the kind of remember when your boy zach was like i'm making i, I paid a bill with my youtube mm -hmm. i remember that. Um, well, yep. if you if you know how to monetize it properly and you know where to put in like a, a mid break ad and you know the eight minutes put a ad at three and all of that you could potentially now this doesn't happen all the time but you can potentially like a thirty thousand hit that's a that could be a hundred 150 bucks to 300 and more bucks depending on how people watch it so you can make real money if you know how to monetize a channel now you get to i get a lot of shit to monetize because i'm talking about abuse cases there's easier shit to talk about but again i don't i don't really care about it i uh this guy i mean it, it, it's not really about him or them he has a big enough wallet to fight this case and men there needs to be there needs to be proof that that men need someone to stand up for them and people need to understand that listen and believe is broken and mm -hmm. this has woken a lot of people up to that well all the shenanigans i mean it, it, yeah and that's the, that's what exactly what happens someone who's the sort of icon of that side will get up and do the exact opposite to everything they preach about and everyone will say well what happened to believe all women or whatever it may be and yeah if, if those moments can get sort of signal boosted around the internet yeah, you know, the hope is that a lot of people will wake up and sort of uh see what's really going on out there i've had an interesting um, phenomenon with my channel since i've started um now it's grown a bit but even with comics i i have a uh, you know, most of our channels, I remember Mike Miller to, uh, talking about this. He was bragging because he had a 2.6% a female audience. He was like, well, that's about the norm. I was like, dude, I have a 30% <laughs> like female audience. I don't know what the fuck you're talking really? about. Really? Yeah, and now I've I got have a one hundred percent male audience. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel free to burp and fart in here. No one's gonna care. I think hey, you can still do it there, but you know, fuck. It's just it's interesting, even with comics. That is uh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it's your voice. Maybe it's that that uh, accent that you've got. I don't know. I don't know what. But Maybe they are just interested right in um, seeing Amber Heard go down. Now that was before. Like I say, now, now before. it's probably. Let's see. Now it's a thirty-seven percent female audience. <laughs> wow! They don't. They I don't have not come across that at all. Well, the ladies don't approve of uh, bed pooping, do they? Uh, no, they <laughs> they do not. Actually, the I think that's like pretty, the majority the of women don't approve of victimizing men. You may have those those crazy ass new wave feminists. You know, they're loud. And it makes it sound like there are a lot more people behind this. And, you know, if you go on Twitter, there may be a lot of motherfuckers l liking something, but that's not indicative of real life. In real mm -hmm. life, people don't agree with that shit. It is. Yeah, it's very hilarious when real when Twitter people realize that Twitter isn't real life. And, you know, it blows their mind that, yeah, the majority of people, for instance, aren't approving of men taking over women's sports uh, the majority of people know what a woman is when asked you know that sort of right. stuff but on twitter this is all controversial stuff <laughs> right it's well these people crazy. they they want you to confuse empathy with something else you know it, it's kind of like with, with covering the uh due process cases if somebody says hey i'm a victim okay well you you, you have my empathy with that i, I that's a terrible thing and I, I can't say that enough but if you want to say i was victimized by x and insert whoever there that's a different story you know burning someone's life down we don't we don't need to confuse the two ever oh, that's a good point uh read most comment bancroft all right uh, Mo says Amber Heard shits the bed more than Rob trying to tell a joke. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> he has his moments, but yeah, no, you are right. That's that is what it is. Uh, well, yeah, there you go. I've put the link into. I mean, as if anyone in here doesn't know Tug, but in case there is someone 
and they're in the chat. We've got 100 people in here watching. Uh, do go subscribe to uh, that umbrella guy. He's an OG comic skater. Oh, Lola, yeah, she points out, I'm, are you correct? I am not a biologist, but I am wearing a t shirt <laughs> with Charles Darwin on it. So I think that does oh. qualify me to be able to ascertain what a woman is and what a man is. Uh, you know, the biggest story that's been hilarious to, to watch unfold. I mean, dark story, but hilarious to watch unfold in the sense that, uh, you know, Twitter is not real life. Is the um, is the bill the the, the Florida bill? Uh, you yeah. know where they're like, no, we want to talk. We want to talk about sex to kids in, you know, up to third grade or yeah. something like eight, that. Ages five through eight. <laughs> yeah. and, and the only time I ever see anyone arguing for it, they argue something completely different. It's got nothing mm -hmm. to do with what it's about. Well, but, that's um, the that, that that's the way it always goes, isn't it? They um they they argue points, especially like Twitter is fucking notorious for it. It's just amazing though to see companies like Disney in real life shilling for shit like that because they think it's going to get them more money. Oh, you bring your kids to our place? Well, we support a grooming bill. Congratulations. No. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's uh, and and the people are starting to protest against Disney on mass now. Apparently, I, I don't. I can't. I can't confirm this, but I just saw uh, that they lost a whole bunch of subscribers to their uh, streaming service, well, like tens. And of they dollars. don't make. They're not okay. They can. They can put out a movie and make that movie, you know, paper, and they will make money with that. But their service itself is not estimated to be profitable until 2024 and those growth rates were predicted based on the growth rates during the beer bug and you know streaming is stagnated now you're not growing like that so they don't make money with streaming if they're they're going backwards because of something they're doing yeah congratulations you know that's why uh, everybody and their mother is being fired at warner brothers right now oh yeah there's so much. I always get the feeling like we're on the cusp of something big and something happening. It hasn't really happened yet. It's happened. There's been small wins, you know, small wins in the battle, but, you know, the war rages on. Uh, it, I, I wonder what's going to be the thing that's going to just break the camel's back. Maybe it's this. Maybe maybe it's the next thing. Mo Big says, the easiest way to tell a man from a woman is to see if they get naked in Bancroft's book. If they do, it's not a woman. <laughs> so far, <laughs> there may be some naked women in the future. We'll see. Oh, I, you know, like I said, I'm trying to court the ladies here. So uh, uh, we'll see. Quiet says, uh, the Jack Show has over 600 people watching a silent screen. Up your game, Bancroft. I'm trying. Oh, my God. Tug on. We're chatting, building channels and everything. And we're going to we're gonna segue right now over to uh, Hunt for the Littlest Umbrella. We have uh, 100 people in here. Please do like, subscribe, share it out, uh, all that good stuff. We're going to get into this uh, book with Tug uh, right now. And um, I want to start off with this very cool uh, – it has to be – it's Scotty Richards, yeah, the, the trailer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, it has to be. I was uh, looking at, the, uh, looking at the, uh, the style and even the music and everything. I'll just play this very quickly. It, it's very cute. Hey there, so that Umbrella Guy and Little Umbrella Girl are back, following up their smash hit for a third comic adventure, Hunt the Littlest Umbrella. We're talking 40 pages of all ages, classic horror goodness with humor, and yeah, a little bit of Lovecraftian goodness sprinkled on top. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Now, uh, Tug, as Daniel Russell points out, don't freak out. That is Australian dollars. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is this bogan uh, dollary dues are the currency of this channel. But you, you're right. You said it earlier. You have just cracked eighty five thousand. That is excellent. Let's see if you picked up any backers uh, since you've been on. You have picked up a couple. That's excellent. Getting up there. Great to see. Uh, Nick Rose points out this is an excellent point. Tug's books are true all ages books and always fun to read. Is that uh, was that always something you wanted to do there? Make them all ages? Yeah, we yeah, are for this. I mean, we uh, I, I I wanted to do a project with uh, my kids could actually enjoy. Like if we uh, 
<laughs> if we go and pick up something at the comic shop, man, it is such a roll of the dice. It, most of it is absolute trash. I picked up that Batgirl comic. Everyone made, made fun of. Well, I I ended up picking it up. You know, the one where they they start talking about how uh, they went to the fertilization clinic and they were misgendered and they didn't. The doctor what? didn't even apologize. Yeah, <laughs> if you never saw that's the a Batgirl comic. comic. Yeah, that's a Batgirl comic. <laughs> but that's, I mean, uh, that must be burning up the sales charts, Tug. Mm. I was awful. And when I picked that up, you know, it, it looks like a kid's comic. And that's obviously not a conversation that you want to have with your kids. So I was like, fuck these people, you know, never again. And then yeah, I, um, I buy, uh, what is it? Um, boards, you know, for my comics. And, uh, you know, you, you order a, a certain amount of boards and then they send them in a box, but they s always slip in a couple of those free comics. Mm hmm. Uh, and you know, I've got a nine year old daughter, so I think, oh, okay, you know, maybe she wants some. And then I flick through them, and you're right, it's <laughs> yeah. it's all that. I thought, well, I can see why they're free, and on top of that, they're very. I mean, I, I, I'm not one of those guys who's who gets up here and says all of the mainstream is total garbage, and uh, you know, it's it's all so. gone to hell. There are still some, uh, really amazing artists i don't know about the writers but there's still definitely some amazing artists out there working the mainstream but the ones i've seen exactly that what are you sharing here i'm sharing this this is that comic so there's two pages of it you know they're hanging out you look i mean look at the art style first of all it's it's shitty but it looks i mean this is their idea of a club so you can tell you know again so anyway well, oh, a, what, what did they fart why are they all by themselves down in the middle <laughs> well one of them's like, oh, I'm sad. Why are you, are you okay? Oh, not really. We went to the fertility clinic today to discuss our options. And the doctor, he misgendered me. He didn't even apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really Hang sucks. On. Is one of these Batgirl? Yeah, this is Batgirl right here. Okay, all right, thank you. Yeah, that really sucks. Oh, it doesn't suck, Babs. It's a punch in your gut. You lose your breath. No. Oh. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, when I'm looking at it, first of all, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and, and I don't want my five-year-old asking me about something like that. What, Daddy, what's what's misgendering? Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> what's a fertilization what, clinic? What's uh, a you know. What was that about? Was she supposed to not be a woman? Yeah, uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Uh, I can't, but, see, and that artist, I get the feeling like that artist couldn't, can draw quite well, but they're choosing to present Yeah, they're doing like that tumble right you know, depiction yeah. of art. Uh, it, Bretsky the Great. Uh, salute Tug, back in number 1,163. Question, what are the mini comics? How do they fit into the overall story? Well, the first one was just kind of an experiment. It was Peter Gilmore. He, um, you know, we wanted to do something. It's kind of a love letter to comics, Gate. It's very circa 2000 and, I guess, 18 right in there. So it... It's fun, but it captures that that time. If, if you, you see the cover of it, it'll have a lot of people that I mean, you may remember they may be gone, uh -huh. but it, at the time it was it was good. And the the story it had uh, little umbrella girl trying to go out do something against Rinfa mice. You know, you, you know, <laughs> we making, yeah. So we were making you know, it's a good. It was it's funny to make fun of. The second one. We start tying in stuff like that. That is the actual second one there. And the same team's mm -hmm. coming back for a new one. There are many stories, but like this, the night of the bug, the baby umbrella girl. So we're starting to work in, you know, again, we're working the little one in. Everybody in the family gets depicted. So I, uh, my daughter at two, uh, Shay, Red Valkyrie, she sent a, a, a painting for each one. And my daughter at two recognizes herself as the character there so it's it's kind of cool that's oh, cool yeah so she's gonna she's gonna never remember uh life without being a comic yep. book character yep always cool indeed. Indeed. but they they do work in um they're more of a just a, a fun little story on there but again it's like a it, it's more of a it's more of a a comedy trial and style we have uh the team on there is 6 a.m and lola mm -hmm. writes those so yeah, it looks cool it's i mean 6 a.m is a great artist yeah, perfect for an all ages fun story yeah. 
and uh, it sounds very good. And are they are they minis in their actual small size, or are they just yeah? Shorter? They're they're small. They're uh, we would call them ash cans, but ash like, can size. Yeah, yeah, most like my audience is mixed. My audience knows comics and doesn't know comics, so I just call them mini comics. That way, you know, you have you have yeah. lesser pages because you know ash cans again, and you have the small the mini comic size. Oh, good to see, man. These covers. Uh, they're crazy. Uh, the the, the art is it. so good on these. You must be super SK happy Bennett. with how these Oh, hell out. yeah. SK Bennett is a beast. And the thing about him, he has been around forever. He has worked on multiple projects. He was tied to Jawbreakers, for example. But people don't know him. And I got yeah, lucky. Yeah, they recognize you know. the name. Yeah, I mean, he... He, he stays out of controversy. He doesn't want, he, he wants to be a professional. The thing that we always ask for, the problem is the most professional people, they don't get noticed because they just, they, you know, work away. And, and that is an un, unfortunate side effect of some of that. Uh, uh, he's yeah, trying to, I, go ahead. I, hired, I hired a guy, uh, Rod Looper, who's, he's been attached to plenty of books and he's got his first project coming out that he's done, he's developed with another guy, you know, he's, he's done art on lots and lots of books, but yeah, he's mm -hmm. just, he just keeps his head down. You know, he's not involved in uh, any of the nonsense that goes on on YouTube mm -hmm. or anything like that. So you're right. Yeah, he's just sort of flies under the radar. I'm trying to change that. Yeah, that's what uh, I want. And, uh, get him I want, some exposure. So I want SK cool. to get it because, I mean, he's freaking, I mean, he's an amazing talent. I'd like him to be able to go out and, you know, make his own projects too. Uh, hopefully that'll come. Oh, you know, again, he's he's doing his, uh, he's raising his profile. So because he's a damn talented person, you know, it's uh, oh, like see. this. Yeah. yeah, like that. That's That's amazing. So my daughter gets to create artwork she has her own covers so the bottom art piece that's actually hers he just takes it and works it into the picture you know so she she drew that it was like a missing spider if found please contact and you know he works his in there love it it's like a, a cookie spider i like it she's got the many uh, the correct number of eyes <laughs> she said that's spider. an abusive cricket i think he like <laughs> that's what she said he like beat, he beat his wife or kid i don't remember it was i was like man that's a badass a mean cricket so uh he's gonna get taken out though thankfully uh, look and an exclusive kyung lee cover as well yep. Yeah, Kyung. Um, Very cool. I was going to use that on the last campaign, but um, I named the all. I was gonna, <laughs> I was going to put that out as a as an add on later on, but I, I named uh, the big one like the all tier or something, and I was oh, like, man, right. that's yeah, lying. Yeah, 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 that's a lie. So I, that's I cool. had that made last time, but I I like that. I also love you know in the beginning we had a manga style, so you can see his depiction of the little umbrella girl versus mm -hmm. you know SK. I mean I love the two the style different. I love them both, but I like that style difference. Yeah, it must be cool to you know see it represented, see your characters represented in that is a different different style there. Uh, how many covers do you have on this thing? Oh, that's the that's the first page, is it? No, that's the second. That's book two, new cover, right there. Oh, right. book two, new cover. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that oh, of course another case for Lost Umbrella. Yeah. Right. That's the last. We had one. Yeah. three covers. We had a uh, oh, we had a cover where cover A, cover B, and we had a forty eight hour cover as well. So I wanted to try that. Up, I'd up. never tried a forty eight hour cover. It. I mean, it sold. We had secret tiers, so however many of those plus it sold, I think. Uh, 117 copies so i mean it was pretty good you know i i was happy with it you know again <laughs> we don't we don't do like evs numbers but man for all ages books i'm very happy with what we can do uh mortal v wants to know when the dow Kion cover is is hitting the campaign <laughs> before john malins <laughs> yeah, i mean obviously obviously yeah. i'm getting mine before john malin i haven't even asked Dow yet yeah i haven't asked yet either that's fine <laughs> uh Great colors too. I love this. Uh, I, this is what I call a lucent blue. I like this uh, teal. He he okay. does colors too. Again, the SK does art. Color, oh, what a talent! Lettering. I mean, he does it all. He's a he's a talent. I love his work. Uh, and and then I you know you scroll down and the pages you, you know it's not this massive disparity from the mm -hmm. uh, you know artwork on the cover to what you get on the interior. So that's always a, a big plus. Yeah, uh, great looking I hate interiors. That. 
I hate that. Yeah, really yeah. Really it's really. a it, to me it's it always reminds me of webtoons. That's what they would do. These webtoon <laughs> yeah. artists would just rush through all the interiors, but then they'd hire someone awesome to do a you know mm. the cover piece to draw people in there. And, uh, and that one that happens in the mainstream comics now too a lot. I like the hook That's there though. You know, they're driving, yeah. wreck, crawl, you have the zoom in, the boots. It's like, oh, and then zoom out. Where'd you go? So what's the uh, what's the story in this one? Well, be it, uh, get being a little vague on it because uh, yeah. you know we, I'm we're all about the vague. We're going with the little um, the, the little umbrella girl has vanished. You know, in, in this area there are reports of strange creatures. There's missing hikers abounding, and there's a report maybe the little umbrella girl has gone feral. So they're trying to figure out where she went, what's going on with her, what's going on in this area. And it's tripping into a case, basically. You know, think classic monsters. Well, driving your car hits. into a case. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> got, where, got to have a oblig, obligatory comic skate werewolf. And a moose, you know. Fuck moose, you know. You're, I don't and know if you remember moose. <laughs> <laughs> Is that was that was that a uh, was that a, a little um, OG CG nod? That's a. Yeah, there's moose. your nod right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fuck moose. Wink, wink. <laughs> people might not know who moose is american it's, discord's uh, in here great to see a shelby yeah if people don't know that that's a that's like a eva that's some evs lore <laughs> yeah uh, he colored one piece of cyber frog uh that uh kyle was talking talking about the other week on uh on twitter those are our newest uh, page too i love that so, I mean, that's where our, you see the little umbrella girl, like, again, you know, there's something going on with her. Like, she looks strange. Yeah, it looks like this, uh, she's changed her hair, I think, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn, that hair is straight, really. <laughs> I love his, like, the the fallen water with the uh, with the bubbles, you know, the way that, I mean, just the detail, the reflections, you know, and the, the panel before it, <laughs> you know, it's the shadowing on the water. I mean, it's, like I said, it's, it's good stuff. Yeah. It's really nice. A good lettering too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's all very like said, cool, all man. Like, we have our cards. And, uh, um, Joe mm -hmm. Ball. Yeah. Joe Ball is one of our cards. Um well we have we have three cards with stretch goals so far. We've hit a postcard and a sticker. The uh Joe Ball card colored by SK Bennett. Um it was interesting. I didn't even see a lot of the details in there until he colored it. I didn't notice the uh, the tombstones oh, yeah. on the back. Tombstones. That's yeah. When you said details, I'm like, all right, what's hidden in here? Tombstones. Yeah. This uh, this patterning here. Tentacles. Uh, oh, she's changed her hair again. Very important. Yeah, it's, it's uh, just... very nice. Oh, you never see Joe Ball colored. Oh, very rarely. I mean, mm -hmm. he was in um in Lost Pages. Yeah. Uh, he's just one of those artists who's so detail heavy. It's, it's, it's hard to imagine it. It's hard, some... but uh, <sighs> nailed it. He he needs a color in a black and white version. I think if you're going to look at his stuff colored, I still think you need a. You need a is he a coloring death, death, death? Is he doing a colored version? Uh, yeah, I think there's a. I, I keep he thinking so. Be. Yeah, but I, it's. I, I need to check. I, I, I think it's just tonal colors. I think it's just like, you know, like a wash of blue or red or something like that. I, I know uh, he and Yellow Flash were talking colors, though, for the new, for his book. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Joe actually. Jeremy would know. He is coloring himself, too. Yeah, you would have to. My first project was going to be with Joe. Actually, we talked about a pure horror thing. That The problem was that we were talking about earnings, how much money to make. I knew that we couldn't make that. You know, I was blunt with myself. I knew we would end up at the size of my channel, the reach at the time. I knew we would end up with a few thousand bucks. We would we we wouldn't make anything. He would spend a lot of time creating a project and he would make nothing for it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't we ended up not doing that and I would still like to do that project. It's just uh, I know. It's just that he's drawing currently drawing a 300 page tome. Yeah, at and the he's moment, working on top on the flash of other stuff. jobs. Yeah, he's working yeah. on the flash book. So, uh, Shelby says Joe Ball drew Phil's social security in the smoke. I think he's going <laughs> to zoom in to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, there's that Anna there card there's the, uh, like below too. The thing, like, and that's uh, Anna Druid. Yeah, that Star Wars girl drew a. 
card for us while we were on Flashcast. So that's you know we've we got a card from her, Joe Ball, uh, little umbrella girl made a made a card. We have a postcard. It'll we haven't decided exactly how to go, but the last time I really liked the postcards, we did kind of a a Silent Hill shout out. So I want to do that again, you know, because I love Silent Hill. <laughs> A lot of the tears here are missing. So uh, you you missed out on being the main villain. You missed out on being the store owner, the chief of police, monster. But you can still grab some original art. Yeah. Uh, is that who's the interior artist on this? That's uh, it's all him. It's SK Bennett. It's all him. Yeah. Yeah. Crushing it. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, there you go. That's I mean, why you have guy, no... Sounds like this guy's really on the up and up, too. He is, so it's he is a, a beast, deal. man. I mean, again, I want to see him succeed and keep working on my project. So if you get bigger and oh, you listen of course. to this, yeah, SK, Don't get too successful. Yeah. Just successful enough. Just but so I want to see recognition. I want to see people like, you know, again, that, that's a lot of work to, you know, they, they get paid page rates. I think it's fair, plus bonus. Um, but... You know, again, it's nothing like having your own book. So I'd like to see him have his own book and do his own thing. Yeah, that's when the uh, sort of connection start making we have some, some uh, real waves. Our uh, original art and our uh, captive audience as well. They come with a. Oh, yeah. We have the the big tier with all the books. It, it'll be book one, book two, two covers, mini comic plus a sketch card, and then we have a a tier with all of those as a black and white edition. Well, like drawn in, you get all of that with the drawn in or the, uh, or the original art. So you get a $200 tier plus like with drawn in, you're getting it. If you add 50 bucks to that big tier, you're just, you're getting the drawn in. So you can still, you can, there's still a chance to be part of this book out there for anyone who's got uh, $250 uh, to splash around. That's cool. And there's, there's the black and white monster it bundle. Was- we sold a bunch of those uh, as secret tiers. It's weird. We sold three on the main tier, but as a secret tier, we put a, a those. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it did good as a secret tier. There you go. Uh, that's how they say we're uh, laundering money because they, yeah, they look see at, that. Uh, the numbers the and what's shown on the thing, and then they do they get their calculators out and they're like, "Here's proof, Comicsgate yeah. is a." I remember doing that to Shane. Money. <laughs> Shane <Yeah>. Davis is <laughs> it's so absurd. We added one thing that I've I've not seen. I've seen other people do like uh, books for the troops or anything. If you go up one tier, there's a there's a charity tier. We have a lot of people that don't give a crap about comics, or they wanna they wanna support again. If they if either way, I would rather you buy mm-hmm. a comic and read our project. But <laughs> if for whatever reason you don't, you pick up a comic book and donate it. We will match that. So we'll put a comic book with it. There's no shipping. We'll take it ourselves. We, in the areas we live in, I mean, we have, I'm, I'm from the Appalachian area. So we have whew, extreme poverty in some of these areas. And mm-hmm. we, we always meet the needs, like physical needs. You know, we buy people pants or socks and, you know, we, we, give like a small gift for Christmas or birthdays, but there's never just anything to, to meet escapist needs. You know, that reality is, is rough and you bringing something that helps with that. Plus giving a gift that just says, Hey, you know, there's, there's people out there that give a shit about you. That's, that means that's a power. Make all the difference. Yeah. Having that, having that uh, escape and that something to hold on to. And you hear that a lot from people who have uh, rough upbringings, you know, something, really help them get through it uh comics. that's that's a really cool thing you're doing there yeah well i remember you know comics anyway i've been reading comics since i was three and when i look at a comic book you know they have that that nostalgia the ghosts of the past that attach to it you know i can i've got an old comic book one of my early ones where you know i look at that i remember that good times there i remember my granddad you know when he was still alive my grandma i mean that's what you want and usually even if you're having a a shitty time around you if you have time to sit down to look at something you still attach good to it you usually don't take negative out of that that's like that's a powerful tool Indeed, indeed. Tug, believe it or not, we are up. We our time is up. The hour is up. I have to get back to work. 
Damn, man, uh, thank you so Thanks, much, bro. man, for coming on and chatting with us tonight. Yeah, bro. A Tug's book uh, has four. Uh, and this is the first thirty days, so I think you're going to continue on, yeah. Yeah, probably. I'll make a decision. I, I've never not done it yet. You know, I sometimes think, man, I'm going to end. But we missed five days with the, you know, with with health issues for the little one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know. Uh, well, you've picked up a few more backers now, up to one thousand one hundred nineteen, which is incredible. Uh, a big success. Uh, everyone would love to see you crack a hundred thousand on this campaign. It would seem criminal uh, not to be. But uh, it, you know, Ethan has uh, really helped you out on this one, which I've oh, seen, yeah. which is great. Uh, John, all all the big guys. Yeah. So everyone's uh, rallying behind you on this. So uh, yeah, thank you to everyone in the chat who's um, come out and uh, and backed this book. Awesome to see. Tug, thank you so much for uh, giving us an hour of your time. Oh, man. I appreciate Busy it. Busy man as you are. Busier than I ever imagined. Uh, so I'll let you get back to all that. Um, Joe, always a pleasure, my friend. Likewise. But the biggest thank you, as always, goes out to you. Wonderful, incredible, amazing, spectacular, and phenomenal. Sexiest chat in all of CG. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow night for the uh, last show of the week. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.